Hi everybody. Today we're going to take a look at dynamic drop-down menus in Google Sheets. These are customizable drop-down menus that will automatically update themselves, making them a very handy tool for a wide variety of applications within Google Sheets. Let's get started and take a look at our sheet here. So, Google Sheets has a function called validation. This is designed to see if some data that you're submitting matches a list. So let's select a column and then choose the data heading from the menu bar up here. Then select Validation. Here we have a number of different ways that we can choose to format these drop-down lists. For example, I could list from a range, I could input each item manually, I can create numbers or dates or more. For our example, I'm going to select from a range, which could include a range from anywhere in our spreadsheet. Let's hit this button here, which allows us to select the range, and then I'm going to select this column. Click OK, and you'll see that the range has populated right here. And we'll click Save. Now, when I enter something into the self-generating list over here, You'll see that when we go to this column back over here, that the new item has been auto-populated into that list. I've set up this demo to represent problems that people might have when managing facilities. I mention this to highlight why this can be an effective tool. People sometimes phrase the same problem in different ways. Uh, for instance, light bulb burnt out and burned out light bulb mean exactly the same thing, but they are phrased differently. The problem here comes when someone managing a huge report does a search for a specific phrase. Many related problems that were phrased slightly differently could be omitted from those search results. Using a drop-down list like this, however, creates more continuity throughout the sheet. We're going to create this by using a function called unique. So I'm going to enter equals unique, and then I'm going to start my parentheses which tells Sheets to take a look at a range of items and only display one of the items at a time. So I'm going to select this column here, and we'll get our unique list, which will only display one list item, even if it appears more than once in our target range. This now creates our new custom list. So what happens if someone has a new problem that hasn't yet appeared on our facilities reports? If Dave comes in and reports a cracked window, he's going to see it doesn't currently exist in the menu, so he will type it in manually. Then, it will populate to the unique list, because it is a new item in the target range that we established for that command. When we go to the drop-down menu, we see, there, it's been added to the list. We can also make this a little more friendly by sorting it. So let's delete our unique command and instead enter equals sort and select the range for our list of items. Enter 1 and then true, which specifies to sort the first column in ascending order. Now, whatever we put into the list, it will be placed in our ordered list where it belongs. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Have a great day.